140 lights at 18 different locations along the interstate across Jackson are in the dark, according to the Department of Transportation. We have a criminal element that's, that's going around to each of these locations and continually stealing uh, the copper wiring that's providing the electricity for the lights. MDOT estimates almost $800,000 worth of copper has been stolen in the past five years. 2,500 feet stolen from the Pearl Street exit area of the Interstate 55 this week. This motivating the department to bring Capitol Police into the investigation, along with Jackson Police and Hines County Sheriff's deputies that are already involved. Uh, we're actively pursuing uh, finding these uh, copper thieves and keeping this, this uh, copper theft from occurring again. The effort to repair the lights is not a cheap one. In one area, lighting was restored at a cost of $30,000, and within five months, the copper was stolen once again. But it's unfortunate that the taxpayers are expecting a service to be provided to them. We're tasked with a mission of the Department of Transportation of providing a safe roadway for people to travel on. And because of uh, this criminal element that we have that's insistent on uh, um, committing these types of crimes, it prohibits us from being able to provide that most basic service.